After she left me, I would fall asleep everywhere but our bed. It became foreign to me. A bed seemed too much for just one person. I had to figure out how to restart my life. To become a Charles I could at least put up with. I had to get my mind off of her. I decided to try a morning routine. Breakfast at the coffee shop every day at 8 a.m. It would help to be around people for a change. Are you alone? Yes. But breakfast alone was ten times better than staying home. Sorry, I'm really sorry I'm late. I know we said nine, but I had a nightmare morning with the kid. What's 10 minutes? Forget it. Well, is your kid okay? Yeah, you know, I, we should just start a kindergarten. And, you know the deal. But enough about that. I mean, you got enough on your own plate without worrying about my problems. Let's get down to business. Look, 500 is too high. Give it to me for 400. You know what? 410, and I'm good for 600 pieces. Four hundred eighty, and that's only if you're good for a thousand. You gotta understand, the market is in the shitter. Just last night on the news, they were showing people eating out of dumpsters. You keep pushing, you're gonna press me right out of the market. Don't worry. For every three people eating out of a dumpster, somebody's driving a Mercedes. <laughs> they said you were stuff. Hey, I'm just like you. Just trying to keep body and soul together. 460, a thousand pieces, and I owe you a favor. And you know better than anyone, Harry, that a favor in our business is worth more than money. <laughs> From then on, it became almost routine for the next few weeks. I would look for any new person who came in and if they started searching, I would wave him or her over to take a seat. I don't want to have to take you to court. Me neither. It's always better to settle things amicably. Alan asked me to tell you he's really sorry. If he's really sorry, tell him to come and tell me himself. No middlemen. Just remember, I don't do night shifts. Who do you think you are? So. Everybody else has to do night shifts except for you? In your email, you sounded taller. In your email, you sounded less picky. It was fascinating. Sometimes they'd pick up the tab, sometimes I did. Sometimes we went Dutch. No. Even if it was just 10 minutes, that human connection was enough to keep me going.
To stop playing the game would mean... Going back to being no one. I was sure you wouldn't show. We agreed to meet. Yes. Except after the way I yelled at you on the phone, I was afraid you'd chicken out. So, here I am. Hmm. I'm sorry I yelled at you on the phone. Really, I just, uh, I just flipped out. But I meant every word I said, you got that? Now, I'm asking you, stop seeing her. I'm sorry. I can't. Yes, you can. You can, and you will. Because there's no other way. You have to give it up. But I love her. We both love her, but I happen to be her husband. And I'm not about to let you break up my family. You have no idea what my life has turned into. Just one big chunk of nothing. And when you've lived with nothing for so long and suddenly something turns up, you can't just tell it to go away. You understand me, don't you? I know you understand me. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance? It was ten times better than staying home. <laughs>